should burp. It's green light. It's 8.30 at night and I got another call. So let's go do this. Um, I just talked to the guy and I'm following another company that was telling him he needed a new thermostat. Can, can you see me? Yeah, anyways. Just listen, okay? Pretend this is a podcast, one of Brian's podcasts. So this guy, he, uh, he was told by the other company he needs a new thermostat and they kept replacing low voltage fuses. Wow, it is really dark. Uh, try not to get distracted though. Uh, so anyways, box of fuses and um, they just left it with him. So he lost confidence in this other company and he called us and so we'll go there and find out if that thermostat's actually what's causing the short. Most likely not. I mean, that's pretty rare. It's so cold in here. Oh, it's much better when you turn off the air. <clears throat> so, hopefully we got a little uh, low voltage short going on and we can do some isolation diagnostics 101 with Bert. This video quality just... Okay, this is how you isolate if the thermostat's actually causing a short or if something else is going on. You pull the thermostat off, and at that point, you're not gonna have 24 volts on any of your other wires because the thermostat sends that call. So you wire nut those other wires into hot, into 24 volts. And if the short keeps happening, uh, your issue is in the lines, air handler or outside, it's not the thermostat. Um, if everything runs without shorting out, then you can start suspecting the thermostat. Okay, so first step of any short diagnostic is a visual inspection. All your wires, all your trouble points. See if you can find that short. The very first place I look is inside this condenser. Uh, really common to have rub outs in here on low voltage lines uh, on, on your copper. So check out your common spots first. Trouble issues like this, splice that's here, we'll definitely wanna open that up, take a look at it. Um, but yeah, I've, I've gone over this whole system. Everything looks fine. I'm not picking up any visual shorts. Um, so, but that's where you wanna start. See if you can find it with your eyes first. So what I need to do now is actually isolate where the short's happening at. You can see here our fuse has blown and some evidence that we've had some tries trying to get that uh, short figured out. So this is how I do it, okay? We got a short happening right away. I put a new fuse in, looked it up, bam, instant short. Thermostat's off the circuit, so that can be out of eliminated. Um, so what I do is disconnect our wires like this and isolate the outdoor unit from the indoor side that goes through our thermostat. And it's just a process of elimination from there. Okay, so I had a, a tech who had been in the field a long time, an old timer, teach me this when I got stuck on a job once and I was blowing through fuses. I'd gone through, I don't know, 20 fuses and I couldn't figure out this thing. I was really great. And uh, my head was spinning. He taught me this, a little spark test. So you take it up, this is our hot. It's coming straight back. It's got 24 volts on it. And you can connect it to one wire at a time to see if it sparks. And these are our wires right here going to the thermostat. So you'll want to do that one side at a time, red, no shorts on there. And then uh, put those out of the way. And this is just an easy way, they actually build low voltage resettable fuses for this, but this is an, an easy way that I do this. You got spark, no spark. You'll often get just a small spark on your contactor or reversing valve where you have a coil. Yeah, that that's way too much right there on a reversing valve. See that? Way too much spark. 
Now, I haven't blown a fuse with that. This is our wire going out to the condenser. And what I need to do is go outside now, disconnect the condenser unit completely, and that'll isolate the wire that goes under the chase. An idea of the short is inside our chase or not. This now isolates the wires between this point and inside at the air handler. So our condenser, defrost board, all of our safety wires here, everything inside the condenser is now out of the circuit. Okay, completely disconnected from our chase. I've dug up the chase. Let's see if we still got it happening inside our chase. Definitely. All right. We don't have anything hooked up to our condenser, just the chase wire. And it's the same way on the inside unit. Uh, nothing hooked up except for the chase wire. Done a visual inspection down as far as I can see into the chase. Um, and the wires on the other side down into the platform. So now we're getting a short to ground on our orange and turn on the, the meter, the ohms with the beeper for dramatic effect. There it is. Consistent. Ground on orange. So my meter's picking up the same thing that I already confirmed through isolation with the spark test, um, or you could isolate it with fuses, or if you have a resettable fuse for diagnostic, you could use that. There you have it. <coughs> got a short in our chase. yippee yay yay I got some work to do. So yes, we are absolutely gonna run some more wire tonight. Get this taken care of because we can. All right, and I know you're excited to be up here in an attic with me again. Okay, just in an attic. This is our first time together in an attic and it's really not that bad tonight. So, <coughs> don't cry for me. I fished my wire up to there. We just gotta crawl through a little bit of this Florida snow you get a line i got a pole babe you know this would be a whole lot easier if you're on the other side making sure this didn't get hung up and, and stuck leave enough extra up here that i can pull it through and fish it into the air handler from there let's get out of this attic i mean the swimming has been fun it's been real but let's get out of here while we still can dedication to the selfie stick. like HVAC, you're going to really appreciate how beautiful what I'm about to do is. You know, it's just all improv off of my van, you know that? You realize that? <laughs> Anyways, check this out. Oh, wow! That was hot. <laughs> Am I right? And we're just going to strap this up right here. Okay, here's my, my setup out here. Here's this beautiful watertight connection, and I got it strapped here. My thermostat wire going into the condenser, so this is protected from weather and lawn care guys, and up into the eaves. We just gotta secure this, which is gonna be a piece of cake. Just run a bead of cock behind, you just push it against there, and you're good. So, let's get to work. Really? Really, guys? You guys will believe anything about me right now.
No, that's not what we're gonna do. It's working. You know, when you're tired, you don't really feel like always wearing the safety gear that maybe you should. Maybe. But when you're tired, it's also when you're the most vulnerable, you're making a mistake, you're slipping. Wow, that was literally the most boring thing I've ever said. Tell you what, that sure looks good enough for 11 o'clock. That looks good enough. Do you like, do you like my dance of celebration? <laughs> <laughs>